Hi everyone! Today I'm going to read The Firefighters Thanksgiving, written by Maribeth Boltz, illustrated by Terry Widener. The Firefighters Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day, this shift's begun, 10 firefighters at Station 1. Lou says, I can cook today, a list is made, they're on their way. A turkey, pumpkin, yeast, potatoes, ice cream, yams, and ripe tomatoes. The cart is full, the shopping's through, a call comes in, it's 9.02. Getting into the fire truck. They have to stop what they're doing. Sooty, smoky, back to the store. They help mop ice cream from the floor. They split the tab, then peel and clean. A call comes in, it's 12.15. They wash the trucks, hang hose to dry, roll out crust for pumpkin pie, pack up gear and fill the tank, plan the next big rookie prank. The turkey's frozen. Is it too late? A call comes in. It's 2.08. They keep getting interrupted because that is what firefighters do. They stop everything to help. They check equipment, fix a tire, record the details, or they check equipment, fix a tire, record the details of the fire, put potatoes on to boil, refuel the trucks and change the oil, throw out pie crust, start again, a call comes in, it's 410. Wow, that was a big fire. Lou is hurt, firefighters worry, to the hospital in a hurry, the meal forgotten, some pace, some prey, they get the news, he'll be okay. Back at the station, night is falling, families will soon be calling, the turkey's raw, the potatoes too, no pies, no bread, just thoughts of Lou, they wash the trucks, they wash the trucks and hose the floor, the call comes in, it's 8.04. There they go again. They must be tired. While they fight fires, a feast is spread. Turkey, stuffing, pies, and bread. A note is on the table, too. From thankful us to helpful you. Happy Thanksgiving. That was nice. Oh, and they brought some to Lou in the hospital. The end. I hope you guys like the story. You have a good day. Bye.